What's up guys, how you are doing and welcome to Resource TV. I'm your girl Ada and this is Free News. Guys, today we're going to be just in real hot. We're going to be starting with Harry's songs as he drops a message for Muhammad Buhari. Hmm. Moving on, we're going to be talking about Omale as he recognizes a die-hard fan. And lastly, Whiskey FCs as the mock Bonner boy. But why are you guys mocking Bonner boy? I thought you are G's. So guys, please sit back, relax and enjoy. <laughs> Reggae Blues Corona and songwriter Harry Songs took to social media to express his concerns and worries to President Muhammad Buhari. Harry Song tells Buhari to fix Nigeria as there are a million and one things wrong with Nigeria. Holding up his international passport and COVID-19 vaccination certificate, Harry Songs points out that they are the most important things in the world as it stands, but sadly, they are not truly recognized around the world. Here's the video. This is a message to the president. Muhammad Wari, fix your country. Add value to these two things. These are the most important certificates and documents in this in the world right now. This Nigerian certificate of whatever uh, COVID-19 vaccination, it's not recognized anywhere in the world. Let's check out people's reaction to this. As I am Lamy 86 Roots, why tell people to take vaccine when it's not recognized abroad? Nigeria needs image cleaning and rebranding. At Canada PR Pathways Road, I wish I didn't even waste my time getting vaccinated. Imagine the card being useless in the end. Wow. At once some cheese seems to disagree with Harry Songs as she wrote, it is false to say the COVID-19 vaccination certificate is not recognized anywhere in the world because a lot of people have traveled with the same vaccination certificate. The issue is some certificates are fake, so therefore the reason for mandatory quarantine in some countries. Please stop misleading people. Harry Songs, hope you heard that. Next up, guys. Nigerian fast rising artist or Malay recognized a fan who tattooed his stage name on her skin. This is coming days after Omale's alleged breakup with his girlfriend. Mm. According to the fan, Omale's music helped her battle depression. The fan wrote, Hi Omale, I have a confession. I hope I catch your attention. I got an inscription as an appreciation for what the music did to me last day at the peak of my depression, when my life was Lulu. My mom thinks I'm now worldly, that I'm no longer godly. But who are they to judge me when I'm still talking to God? Them, I've gotten a couple of tongue lash on how you have been a bad influence. LOL, they can't relate. I don't expect them to understand. Man, I love you forever and promise never to say bye bye. Wow! <laughs> what a creative fan. Amale recognized the fan by tweeting Love for Life. But seriously, I thought we were done with the era of tattooing people's name on our bodies. What's going on? Let's check out how people reacted to this one. At Richie B official wrote, the fan even used his song to write a note for him. Great fan. At KC Blinks wrote, and I don't start again. Thoughts we were done with the tattoo season. Same thing I said a few seconds ago. At Dorothy Chinemerem wrote, I understand that you can love a celebrity without meeting them, but going this far, I really don't understand people. Hmm. Everybody's not understanding what they saw them. At City Side Vibes wrote, who are the people producing all this Momo Kids stuff? Them. Last on the news. Fans of Nigerian superstar Whiskey, also known as Whiskey FCs, are mocking Grammy Award winning artist Bonner Boy because he declared that he won't be dropping any new album to further notice. The new development is also coming two days after he collaborated with popular American artist John Bellion on a new single titled I Feel It. The self acclaimed African giant made a declaration on his Insta story days after one way fans at Park Life Festival in Manchester, United Kingdom. Bonner Boy wrote, I might decide to not drop an album for a long time. In fact, you know what? No album to further notice. Wow, okay. <laughs> Reacting to this, some fans to the social media to give their takes on what Bonaboy said. Some said African Giant was humbled by Whiskey's latest project made in Lagos Deluxe, while some didn't really care about what Bonaboy said. At MD Dope Web's Road, someone said Whiskey's success in USA tour made Bonaboy cancel album anytime soon. <laughs> you guys, relax. At Bimoye Road, Made in Lagos set the bar so high. Everybody they fear to drop. You know, be whiskey though. Better they drop albums so they no go forget you. At Kenny Exile Road, person if we smoke finish tonight and get inspiration, we go make him release new album tomorrow. How you know? Ah, ah. At Kwame Zak Road, he knows that whiskey is still raining almost a year now and not even Drake can compete. 
Wow, that's a very strong Whiskey DFC fan, I must say. That's it for the news today, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to catch us up every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and also please like, subscribe, and turn on that bell to get updated on all our exciting content. Bye, guys.